Sebastian here. We're with four stringers in BGG World. We're here with none other than Tim Sturgeon himself. How are you feeling today, man? I feel fantastic. Man. Good, man. Really good. I'm excited for tomorrow and Sunday. Yeah. It looks like it's a really big production compared to, like, kind of the old ADCCs where you're kind of just listening to Five Finger Death Punch in the background. You know, like, it seems like now they're kind of, like, bringing the magnitude of the event, kind of really bringing it to where, you know, people actually compare it to the Olympics of Jiu-Jitsu, so. It is the Olympics of Jiu-Jitsu. Yeah, it has to be. I think the whole setup is probably better than a lot of Olympic events, and I like where the sport is headed. I've never been treated so well at an event before. You got Seth for Fight to Win, Mo handling the production. It's a really monumental experience, and it's going to push the sport forward for sure. Yeah, they definitely seem like they're grabbing the production aspects and trying to really blow it up as much as they can. And one thing that I really like is that what you said, they've been taking care of you guys. Do you feel like that's like the first time as a jiu-jitsu athlete that people are really bringing you out here? You're really, you know, you're getting taken care of. You're getting treated as a professional athlete, you know? For sure. I remember when I first started, people would travel to Florida for a grapplers quest for like a thousand dollar prize. But now it's forty, fifty thousand dollars on the line. Uh, we are in a really nice hotel, and it's really close to the venue. It's like literally walking distance. Yes. And you know they got the weigh-ins, the communication between the promoters and the athletes. It's, it's fantastic, man. I mean, we even got lanyards with like yeah. <laughs> we're actual credentials. Yeah, actual I, credentials. I feel like a pro professional. Yeah, good man. That's awesome. You said you got in yesterday from. From where? From Baltimore? Yeah, from yeah. Baltimore. Awesome, man. How's your flight? It's pretty smooth. Nice. You know? So once you get here, are you really able to find a place to train? Do you have like, I'm sure you travel out of California to compete a lot. Do you kind of have like a gym where you like to come out here and train or is it? I really don't train that much at different gyms yeah. with tournament time. Our camps are really difficult, so I use the last week and a half to really dial back and really rest and relax. Nice. I've been doing jiu-jitsu for most of my life now. So I know how to fight, I know how to train, so I'm just gonna relax. But the great thing about this event was that they had a whole mat area for us to train. I've got two great training sessions in since I got here yesterday morning. So it's been a really good experience. You're also here, out here with your teammates, DJ and Shane, right? DJ, uh, Shane Hotel, we call him Jamil, and yeah. Muhammad Ali. And Muhammad Ali's gonna yes. be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Master Lloyd's gonna be here any minute today, and you know, we worked really hard. It's, it's going to be a really special time this weekend. It's going to be really special. How do you feel going into this match as being, you know, winning the trial recently? Do you kind of just have that, like, you already had this type of matches where you went through with the rule set, you know, you kind of had the feeling for what the matches are going to be. Do you think that putting yourself through the trials kind of gave you a warning for what these matches are going to be like? Or do you think the level of, uh, of competition in the trials compared to here is just going to be a different game changer? This sport, I mean, like, the, I think it's a different sport. Like, ADCC rules are really different. So the fact that I was getting those matches in, even if the competition wasn't as famous or popular or didn't have as many credentials, it was still valuable experience. Going through the trials gave me the matches and the ring time. Like I typically don't have that many matches in a year, but doing those ADCC tournaments at the trials, I had at least five matches. Typically, I only have about two in a typical tournament. So that made a huge difference. And just knowing that I was going to be at the event almost a year ahead of time helped me change my style. I evolved a lot this last year preparing for this event, just with the rules in mind and the style of the fighting, and uh, I thought it was a very viable experience. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. Well, Tim, we'll let you uh, go, but before we go, how do you feel with the first matchup that you guys had in the bracket? How do you feel with releasing the bracket? It's going to be a tough match. Yeah. Anyone that gets in the top 16 of anything is legit. Maybe yeah. Andrew is dangerous. He's fought my teammate Muhammad Ali before. He's got very good leg locks. He's had bangers with the top guys in the world, even though he hasn't beat a lot of them. Or, you know, he's about 50 50 percent on 50 percent of beating the top guys. He's still elite. So that's going to be a tough match. And then I got going right after that, which is another tough match. But I always say I want the toughest road. So when I win, there's no excuses. It must be cool to be out here and see a bracket like with all of this caliber of opponents to see your name is in there, which yeah. obviously it's expected for your name to be in there. But it must be just exciting to wake up and tomorrow is kind of just like a skill time. Like we're here, all the hard work, time to just do it. Right? How are you feeling in terms of like the anticipation? Is there excitement? Is there nervousness? I, get, I always get a little nervous and excited, but I've been really working on just being mindful and being in the moment. This is gonna be the biggest jiu-jitsu event of all time. This whole arena is sold out, and I'm just gonna make the most of this opportunity and put on a show for everybody. That's awesome. Thank you, Tim, so much for your time. We really look forward to seeing you compete, man. Best of luck, man. Thank you so much.